Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play As Your Dreams. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, um, was yet another terrible failure on my behalf. But this time around, I'm hoping that Volka can prove to be just a touch bit more helpful than, uh, our good buddy has been. Also, I had gotten a diamond shield, which I've discovered that you can only use the seeds on, or the seeds, the sands on them when you are actually in the tower. So, um, there's that. Pretty much this entire video, um, I'm planning on implementing another way of doing this whole thing, because let's face, well, you scuzz lord. Right, so as I was saying, this time around, I'm going to be pretty much just training up Volka in order to be competent, I guess would be a good wording for it. Because it seems more interesting to use than Chiku. Don't get me wrong, I love the freak out of Chiku. Mostly because he's actually uh, powered up, as it were. So, yeah. Um, I doubt that I'm going to get very high. Especially seeing as I'm using a brain spanking new monster. So let's go ahead and bring Volka out. And see what it is that Volka is capable of. So as far as I know, uh, meaning as far as I've researched, Volka is apparently able to make a couple of walls and whatnot. You know, make stuff in the way. Oh yeah. All right. Now let's see how do I, how do I, if I remember how to play this because it has honestly been a little bit since I've last recorded this. I wanted to get some sort of um, I guess training done would be the best way to do best way to describe how this is all going because let's face it, I know I suck at this game. Or if I don't suck at this game, then if the game is just being really balls and kicking my ass. So, I'm also just hoping to get a... Volka, buddy, you are not exactly... That's, that's not a good start. <laughs> and I still need all that money for the bowling alley. Oh, another shield. Iron shield. Pfft. <laughs> I got warped. That's that's fantastic. That's great. All right. So Volka is off on his own, and he's probably gonna die. Oh, well, okay. He's level two now. He's he's gonna stand a chance. Hopefully. I am frustrated. I ain't gonna lie to, um, I am enjoying this game. My problem is that I'm not very good at this game, and I know that people just don't want to see the same, you know, 10 to 9 levels over and over and over again. So what I'm planning on doing is I want to try to get to at least a good point by the time I get to, say, the 20th video of this series. Um... Ooh, okay. Because no one wants to see me failing at the same dungeon over and over and over again. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there are people that want to see me do that. But, uh, it's just not something I want to do for a Let's Play series, to be completely honest. Is that the way that I needed to go for... Now, how do I get over there? Oh yeah, that's right. So I, I've been graciously told in the comments below that, well not below this video, but below previous videos, that what I should do is just constantly farm on these first couple of, uh, just farm every single floor. Like get all the items you want and then farm all the beasties that you find. 
and when the quake happens, you will automatically be ejected to the next floor. Now I also, oh hey, a noise. Now I also realized if it wasn't uh, a real pain in the ass to do, I could in theory just swap out what memory card I have when I go between the levels. This was not the way. How the hell do I get out of here? Maybe this level is one of those levels I need to wait for the quake to happen. Or maybe all this will just turn into a straight up solo run. Just take on the entire dungeon all by my lonesome. God knows I seem to be doing fairly decent. Especially now that I actually have a half decent defensive weapon. Half decent defensive... Half decent defense filled shield is the selection of wording that I was trying to go for. Now if only I could just find myself a half decent sword that doesn't rust. Or at the least get enough dust that I don't have to worry about rusting like a gold sword. Was this a... Was this how they intended on it doing? Or am I just dunce? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get into that middle section. I can't walk through the water, so I can't just go through that. These trees are impassable. The way north is... a one-way street, and it doesn't go anywhere else. Did... Did they make this level so as you can't pass it? This might have been one of the reasons for the earthquakes, come to think of it. Now think about it. All of this is RNG based. You know, from the items to the monsters, where they're spawning, including all the rooms and whatnot. So, it would be pretty safe to say, I would think. It would be pretty safe to say th that you know, they didn't think that this kind of shit was going to happen. But with the earthquake stuff, it makes it so as you don't have to worry about it happening. Ah. That is interesting. I wonder if that has ever happened to Link. Like, dude plays played this game a whole lot. And if that had happened to him, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, well. So, it's just a case of, gotta wait now. The room has started to collapse. Thank you, thank you for the warning. Yeah, it's collapsed. And it's not like I've been saying for the past 15 episodes in that you... That was a lot of cyclones. Hello? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's just starting. Does it feel lonely and want my help, don't you? Do you wish to stay close to him? I'd still feel lonely. Yep. I can't allow it anymore. I shall battle right now. I accept your challenge, you. Pansy. Ah. Your blade is as slow as your mind. Ooh, an herb. Awesome. Four wins, zero losses. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was weird. I actually, when panning over over to us, it kind of looked like there was a room full of cyclones. Hmm. Oh well. On to the next floor. Because I don't think monsters are going to spawn in a plot floor. God damn that warp. Probably would have had Volka leveled up at least a level 3 or so at this point, but no. Game's just like, hey, screw you. But yeah, um, what am I trying to say here? I was trying to say before how I would like to continue this game, but if I continue making the progress like I have, i.e. none, then it's really not going to constitute, you know making more videos after a certain point. Alright. 
let's uh, let's not get beat up from both sides here, shall we? Um, I think I okay, yeah. I was about to say, think I can take out the troll in one hit, and lo, it happened. Oh, geez, more trolls. Yeah, it, it would just honestly be ridiculous of me to continue doing this if I am terribly bad at it. I enjoy it. That is not the question. I, I am enjoying the hell out of this game. But it's kind of along the same lines as um, Crimson Tears there, where I could find some sort of enjoyment in it, but, you know, this it's not something that I can easily or happily record more frequently than not. So, yeah, if I don't get a manageable ways up past the level 20, or not level 20, like level, say 15, 13 even, by the fifth or 20th episode, then I can't really foreseeably see me getting any better at this. Wait, is that seriously all this floor? I think that was all this floor, just a couple of the rooms. Now, one thing that people had suggested to me is that, oh, why not just cut out the grinding bits? And I can. Like, I can just sit here, holding down the triangle and circle buttons, waiting for the monsters to come to me. <coughs> Which is honestly not a terrible idea. And just cut that stuff out when I'm about to head to the next floor and collect a bunch of shit. Or speed it up. I'll experiment with that next episode, though. Because that also requires a lot more editing and timing of my videos. Because usually I try to keep it within that 20 to 30 minute mark, but if a video is going to end up looking like, oh hey, it's 40 minutes with an additional touch of grinding. Then, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Come on, Dar. Thank you. Well, it's a good thing I'm not a monster. Or am I? Because I ain't gonna lie, it would be really, really sucky if I couldn't restore health. Actually, I do have a game in mind to replace this if I get to the point where it's like, ugh. Dar, you suck at this game. Stop it. And that would be the sequel to Torneka. You know, if people would be interested in that stuff. It would have to be... I would have to emulate it. Which makes all the sense because it was never released in the U.S. And it doesn't have a official Japanese to English translation. I would legitimately have had to know Japanese. Which I don't. Yep. There's the earthquake. It's a quick earthquake. Oh, come on. Well, at least we both deflected an attack. Cyclones! I really wish to do more damage against the Cyclones. I might even do more damage against them just punching them. Maybe. But yeah, Tornico 2. I think it's a GBA game. Never came out in the States. Had to get a fan translated. Fan slated. Fan slated? I don't know. Ow. I was hoping the trap loop was a monster. Or the monster loop was a trap loop. How many hits? Oh, okay. How many hits does it take to get to the inflated center of a balloon? Let's find out. That was the joke I was trying to make, but then the balloon died. Also, this music does get a little maddening. It's not bad. It's just maddening. Die, you freaking overinflated little cyclone bitch. He's only taking less damage because I have a blizzard sword versus his wind element. I think.
think cyclones are base are wind element. It would only make sense that they're wind element. Oh. Nope. Just crop the goddamn coins. Alright. Oh. Is that a sword? There's a sword. Steel sword. Is that sword gonna be... Hmm. I doubt that that sword is gonna be any better than my... Bleh. Blizzard sword. Oh, hey, another balloon. Come on, guy. We all know where this is going. You being dead. Oh. I thought if I make a bunch of pauses and yawns, it is actually kind of late. I don't know why I suddenly decided to record so late. I was like, ah. I'm tired, but I'm not tired enough to go to bed when apparently I am. Ooh. Don't have another monster come up behind me. How many hits does it take to kill a cyclone? Three. Four. Okay. Not that much tougher than the balloons. The balloons do more damage though, so... I really do need to be careful with them. Oh, cool. Another uh, room with nothing in it. This is grand. Another room with only 19 gold. Frick. Yeah. Alright. Just sit here, chill out, let the monsters come to me. You scum sucking cyclone. On to the next floor. I suppose the only real downside about rushing the floors like this is that you are forced to continue on. There is no going to a save point between the floors and, you know, all that noise. It's you continue through or you lose all your progress. Or you die and get painfully mutilated or something. I don't know. Oh, kind of wish I could deactivate traps I just walked on. Okay, let's walk over here. Two, okay, two that time. Oh, finally, freaking level up. Only after how long of that last floor? In fact, let's quickly use this monster one. Good, good. Couple of balloons. Cyclone. Oh, trap loop. I'll use that on the next floor. I say next floor because, you know, I've already disabled, kind of, one trap in here already, so why even bother with that, you know? I really need to also look at how long it takes me to grind a single floor of monsters. Ah, crap, you guys are starting to appear too. Which means irritation. Come on. No. Stop getting away. I just want to murder you. Exactly. Wood shield. Why even do I pick up wood shields anymore? I really don't know. No, get over here. Little cyclone bitch. <sighs> Maybe this is something I should stream instead. I know that is something I actually said about, um... What's a Medusit? Yes, what's a Medusit? What a fine epic what's a Medusit was. No. Uh, Kingdoms of Amalur. I suppose the only real difference, though, is that Kingdoms of Amalur has, like... A solid story, kind of. 
and you know character customization and interesting quests along the way this is a dungeon crawler that's about it it's a poison ball is poison ball good I keep on forgetting all right one D three are you serious with me right now? There we go. Okay, that took approximately three and a half minutes. I was just doing nothing but grinding in that chamber. It's a little bit balls, cause I, I don't know. I'm I'm constantly looking at this whole thing of a game. Oop! Nearly forgot to activate my trap loop. Three of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, that, that just doesn't feel right to me, I don't know, like I'm able to cut down each of those to one minute if I don't cut them out all together, but at the same time, if I'm just sitting here for two to three minutes at a time, every single time I clear out one of these chambers, then it's like, eh, why am I bothering recording, I could just be playing it, and don't get me wrong, I will totally be doing that if I decide not to record any more of this. People will have to tell me whether or not they actually think it's entertaining to go through the entirety of the thing again and again and again. That's one of my constant worries, is that the way that I like to play games is that not necessarily the way that people like to watch the games being played, you know? Like, I enjoy this game. And if you wanna, if you wanna join me in enjoying this game, well, we're gonna play it my way. My way just so happens to usually be the grind-intensive, you know, huge sinks of time kind of way. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh yeah, the blooms. I forgot about these bloom guys. Oh. Another magic spell, poison ball. Two poison balls. Is poison ball the one I think I'm thinking about? Uh, yes, yes it is. Good. I need it. I need it in my life, and I need it to never leave. That said, if I find myself a truth loop, hit <laughs> truth loop. Then maybe what I should do is identify one of those poison balls just to know how many charges I have at the least when it comes to them. Da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba. I honestly had no remembrance of this game being as grindy as it was. I just remember watching my buddy Link kick its ass. Or maybe he didn't kick its ass. I don't know. Um, Identify the location of elevators. Might as well use that. Yep. Oh, holy bell. How you shall probably save my life. Oh, balloon. Get over here so I may slay you. That said... I think it's about time I called this here episode. And when we return, I shall probably be right in this state, doing nothing but grinding. 
as I have been for nigh on 15 episodes now. Also, Volka is kind of useless, but then again, he's also underleveled. Well, he's also underleveled because he has no attention put to him, so yeah. You're okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode here. When we return, I will be probably headed up to the seventh floor, or I shall be grinding once more. We'll see. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers. Out.